I remember as a kid one time I was at Chuck E. Cheese's with my mom in this very dark room, you know, with the animatronics or whatever they're called, and all these people around. I, I remember very vividly I was thinking about things logically. And specifically, my mom took me up to this lady and she was like, oh, hey, I haven't seen you in forever. And I was just standing there. I had shoulder hit length hair, I recall. I was three or four years old. Yeah. And this lady just kind of looked at me and I think she was expecting me to say something, but I was just like, oh, she's tall. She's wearing a purple shirt. Oh, okay. And my mom was like, he's shy. And then in my head, I didn't say anything, but I was like, I'm not shy. I just think a lot. Growing up my whole life, it was the same way. Everywhere I went, there were all these people who were just lighthearted and social and bubbly. Like, yeah, yeah, we're having fun, lighthearted. We don't think that much. We're just enjoying life. And here I was. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Huh, how does that work? The engineering mind, basically. Like, I like things to make perfect sense, to be logical, to all fit into this whole big framework. Oh, what if INTPs aren't actually humans? What if they're aliens from outer space and they're here to take over the world? Oh, wait, we're fine. Never mind. False alarm. It's just a clone. Wheezy way to reference. Now, what I actually wanted to talk about today was how valid is this concept of the personality type, of INTP? The way the brain works, my basic simple explanation is that you have specific types of neurons that wire together a certain way as a result of your genetics, forming little circuits that can result in how you walk, how you talk, which is, of course is also affected by environment. I'll get to that in a second. How you think, which is the big one here, and, and most importantly, the biggest one of all is what state of mind do you tend to fall into? Now, as much as we might like to categorize things, as much as we love to make sense of things, we have to recognize that things are not black and white. If you look at different personality type systems like Hexaco or the PACE system, you'll find that they categorize things in different ways. So what do personality types actually represent? Well, if you think about it, they really just represent different brain states. So INTP would be the person who is very logical. Their emotion systems are sort of blunted so they can focus on making sense of things in the neocortical way. The occipital area of my head seems to have impacted with the arm of the chair. We, we like to imagine big systems of thought, systemize things. You know, learning, knowledge, textbooks. Whereas more social people like ESFJs, for example, they're going to be very lighthearted and bubbly. And they actually use a different part of the brain to socialize than we do. If you are not well-developed. If you're well-developed, you probably actually do learn how to use your social cognition better. You have the ability to occupy every other personality type, all 15 other types than your type, which isn't really even that accurate. If you go to the videos by Seeker and Vox about how accurate personality tests are, you'll get a good indication of what popular culture thinks about it. And I would say they're actually fairly accurate in terms of, hey, you should not take these MBTI tests as solid evidence of who you are. You should use them as a guide because like I said, you can occupy any, it's just you tend to spend more time as the INTP state of mind if you're an INTP, because that's what the tests really measure. Something about the way I think, I do much better when I'm alone. It's not something that I feel great about, but I have found that in the past two or three years with effort, I've learned how to communicate better and how to get along better with people and understand people better. And I feel that you as INTPs or whoever you may be, if you're having any tr issues or trouble connecting with people, the main thing I can tell you is just try. If today's your last day on earth, you have to leave a little memo. What would that memo say? I will try. I would have, my life would have been empty of so many things if I didn't think the words, I will try. <laughs> Welcome to the end of the video. These are the new protein banana cookies I've experimented with. These almond flour and coconut flour. 
If you're interested in the recipe, let me know. If you dislike the video, give it a dislike. And if you liked it, give it a like. Subscribe if you wish, if you like what I'm doing. My vision for this channel is actually quite different than what you're seeing. So who knows where it's gonna go.